Hi everybody, welcome to the, to my channel, uh, fellow game masters. Whether you're a seasoned player stepping up to be in that GM seat or a brand new GM diving into the world of TTGs for the first time, I've got some essential advice for you here. Uh, from creating memorable NPCs to crafting engaging storylines and managing your players, we're going to cover it. So grab your dice, take a deep breath, and we're just going to take a deep dive into the world of the TTRPG together. So let's get started. First thing to know, especially if you're a new game master stepping up, make sure you know the rules. Familiar familiarize yourself with the rules of the game system you'll be running. Include the combat mechanics. If there's skill checks, character creation is a must because essentially people are going to have questions about those things and you want to be able to give them those answers right, right, you know, immediately like you've been doing this for years. It's important to understand the rules in order also to make the game fair for everyone. Uh, and so everyone can enjoy it. Uh, number two, prepare for your adventure. Create a storyline. Plan out some key events. You don't have to have everything, you know, railroaded out because overall, you can't be too rigid with it because things are going to happen. And those things are usually players, believe it or not, because sometimes a player may catch a hook that you didn't realize you threw out there and go on a completely different direction. So you want to make sure that, you know, you're not, you're, 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 you're not like setting yourself in, but that you've got that next thing that we're going to talk about, which is flexibility. You've got to be able to prepare and adapt to unexplained situations and changes in the, you know, in, in, in any adventure that you run, there's going to be those changes. It's important to be able to think on your feet and make those adjustments needed. And that kind of goes hand in hand with prepping. Because if you have two or three or four things prepped, you can go from there. Myself, what I usually do is I have a point A and a point B. I know how they're, I know what they're going to be. And I kind of figure it out getting them there. Not everyone's like that. Some people need to actually plan and plot out, you know, X, Y, Z. And you know what? That's great. It Either way works, uh, but you have to be able to be flexible in order to be able to move with those unexpected things. The biggest thing here also is communicate with your players. Make sure your players understand the rules, the adventure, the setting, the backgrounds, and their, or even their own characters. Encourage them to ask questions and provide that feedback. Because the more feedback that you do provide to them, the more you're going to draw them in, the more they're going to be invested within, I'm going to say the word, the story. Yeah, that's right. The story. Because regardless, story is going to drive them. Now, you want to make sure that you're being fair. Treat all the players as equals. Don't single one out and, and just decide to throw, you know, uh, 50, you know, undead things at it when he's all alone. Typically. Now, if that is going to be a hook within the story, okay. But you want to try to, to, to pass it around. Make sure everyone, you know, you're not showing you know, favoritism. You're not actually punishing people because some of the players are going to do things and you're going to be like, I really want to kill him. No, don't do that. Don't, don't, don't do that. Don't kill the characters because the player upset you because, you know, that that's where the next thing comes up, which is set expectations. Let the players know what kind of game you're going to be running, include any house rules, restrictions. That way everyone's on the same page. Typically, this is what we call our session zero. This is where everyone sits down, makes their characters. You you will go over the setting, the what you expect of them. And you know, sometimes the players are going to tell you what they expect also. 
So it's kind of one of those those give and take type situations there. That you know that that's where you know, like I said before, the communicate with your players. That's where the communication really does come in. You know, especially if you're going to have some house rules because they may not be able to look them up in books or know of them or anything else. So you want to make sure that they have a clear understanding. The next uh, next thing here is also encourage role play. You know, encourage your players to develop and act out their characters. You know, include giving them opportunities to make decisions and interact with the NPCs. You want to give them the opportunity to get shine, and they can do that through their role play. And the big thing is, is what a lot of DMs tend to do. And myself, I did this when I first started out too. We were more focused on, okay, this is what I'm going to throw at them to fight. This is what I'm going to throw at them to, for like curveballs on traps. That's fine. But sometimes those players can get just as much out as an interaction with your NPC. Doing some pretty mundane things. Uh, and, and it helps them round out that character. So it, it, it winds up being more immersive for them. And truthfully, you want them to be, you know, immersed in it because, you know, this is, this is their, their, their getaway. This is their way of, of escaping, you know, the, the escapism of the hobby. The TTRPG is amazing because like me, as a, if I'm as a player, Sometimes I don't want to have to deal with, you know, some of the stuff I'm dealing with. And other times I want to, you know, maybe, maybe I've had a bad week at work. Maybe, I, you know, and, and, you know, just sometimes I feel like, you know, you, 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 you know, Ginsu and a few things and calling it a day. You know, you, you've got to be able to read the room. And once again, it goes back to communicate with your players. You know, be creative. You know, you don't necessarily have to run everything out of a module or everything off the top of your head. Do some research. Ask some questions. You know, talk to some other people who've GM before. You know, get some, get little tidbits of advice. Get, you know, pick up little, here's the thing, is that everyone you interact with, you pick up little things from. Whether it's a GM, a player, whatever. You want to be able to have them, you know, kind of come into a cohesiveness and with that is you know th that that creative that creative juices that can just get flowing from just even if you're just writing out a couple lines about you know they're passing you know as they pass there's a a, a black orc arrow stuck in a tree for instance i had that in one of my games and the player spent 10 minutes trying to figure out if it was a sign so sometimes just being creative with, with you know, the descriptions as things are walking by can give them opportunities for them to, to try to figure things out. The next one is, is very important because when they that little mundane thing that you may have talked about, you've got to keep the game moving. Avoid getting bogged down in rules, debates, and excessive planning. You know, give them, you know, give them a timer. Some DMs use a, use a timer on their phone or, you know, a timer on, you know, a, a hourglass type timer. Uh, you know, you don't want them to get bogged down. You want to keep the game flowing. And you also want to make sure that everyone is engaged. Make sure that everyone is, is participating. Make sure you're not leaving anybody behind. Now, the last but not least, this is the biggest one. Have fun, regardless if you're DMing, a player, whatever. Have fun, because you don't want to take the game seriously. You want to enjoy the adventure along with your players. And as a DM, if you're not having fun, that's going to reflect. So these are kind of my little little tidbits, my little advice for new GMs. You know. You know, take them, you know, I, I would say even watch other videos, get other ideas on things, you know, 
don't go to one source to try to pull everything that you want to do with your game. So everyone, I want to thank you very much uh, for joining me and I'll catch you next time. Bye.